had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. My female intuition says she wants to be more than just good friends. I always felt there might have been some chemistry there. There is. It's in her body language. How she turns to you when you enter the room. How she watches your every move. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? We've got work to do. Get to the point. I work for you, and you work for Cerberus. They're in my face all the time. This is gonna make me crazy. Crazier. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some superbiotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is... a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. Sounds like they've done a serious 180 since those days. I'm not trying to convince you of something, Shepard. I don't care what they're doing now. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Our mission is the priority. If we have time, we'll go there. Don't wait too long. I need to do this soon. I need it. Messages for you, Commander.
Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your conduct and paid all fees you would normally incur. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicate a Justicar named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. 20. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. Welcome! You look like someone who needs high-quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. How do I know this stuff is any good? You're an Asari. Maybe your stuff is no good for humans. I carry nothing but the best. I offer a money-back guarantee. That doesn't help me when I'm dead due to equipment failure. Look, I'm dropping too many credits to screw around here. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. I'll have a look around. I need minimal heat increase. And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Holy crap, Shepard? Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white-collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Just so you know, your discount is still good, and I'll let you know about any special items that might hold your interest. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute.
Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. How long were you after this woman? A few weeks, plus transit time. Not nearly as long as Analeas. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program, and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. It must be hard, going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Oh, hell with it. Mwah. Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain that you're tired of trading employees only to lose them to your competitors? Perhaps Indenture Tech can help. The least. I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Is there anything I can do? Oh no, that crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. You're really holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. Uh-huh. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh-huh. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from... Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a specter? Oh, uh... And then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, let me make this perfectly clear. This is not acceptable. Oh, my foot! You shot my foot! <laughs> that shot barely grazed you, you big baby. Sorry, my father was a Krogan. It still scared me. I knew it the badass mercenary thing. People don't usually shoot me. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You are a big jerk but you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How did you get that arm? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. So, you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. 
you know, for extra credits. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. You're sure. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know, I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to uh, stop the red sand dealers. Pay attention, lady. Unlike Conrad, I actually know how to use a gun. Wait, 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 wait! This whole place is under video surveillance! You can't shoot me! I don't give a Vorch's ass about your security cameras. Conrad Werner is an idiot, but he doesn't deserve to be manipulated like that. You're gonna make it up to him. Okay, I'll go tell him the truth. No. You're gonna tell Conrad that he did a great job, and then you're gonna leave. That's all. Are we clear? Yes, we're clear. Look, I I'm even putting you in for a discount at the kiosk, okay? I'll do that. Talk to Werner and I'm gone, I swear. This might be useful. Oh, blue rose of Ilium, let your roots dig deep into the hot soil. Charka, let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. What do you want? Sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan is reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogan's live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. 
It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent Bond material. Listen, he's a Krogan. Any talk about kids is gonna mess him up. I know. You can't talk to Krogan about the genophage. I get so angry. If you settle down with him, you'll spend the rest of your life wondering if he was after you or kids. Yeah, you're right. I guess I needed to hear somebody else say it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? No, I... Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it. And saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus' hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. What are you doing here on Ilium? Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable, which they have. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? Phew, not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. 
The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? That a rogue Turian specter led in an attack? The Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Your bondmate was with the Quarians. Your daughters work with aliens every day at the embassy and the consort. And look what happened to them! You've suffered, I get that. But these colonists were trying to live peacefully. They've suffered too. They lost family to the Geth and the Thorian creature. Don't add to their anguish. Oh. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah, I had to deal with her. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have... Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the new contract. It's fixed for now. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, like and everything's for sale. Even tags and monitors. in a sorry commando unit before few humans have I'll make it simple either you pay me or I flay you alive with my mind Shepard Nixeris hold my calls My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You're threatening to flay people alive now? Oh, that. That was just a customer unhappy with the information he received. He'll pay. They always do. Ever since I helped you stop Saren, people have wanted to be my friend, or not be my enemy. I've set up a respectable business as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back, gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. 
Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? No, no trouble. But it's been a long two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The Assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I'll talk to you later, Liara. This is a recall notice. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue treatment immediately. Please return your system to an authorized dealer for a refund. Or for credit toward the exciting new Coros brand radiation personal defense weapon. Customer safety is important. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. The son of Dantius didn't give us time to pass. Navacorp has been implicated in a massive financial scandal with authorities investigating a number of trading irregularities. Navacorp executives did not... I don't know, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. So consider it a way to weed out the people too stupid to know their limits. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. It's just... we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents. Sometimes you say these things and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow, you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And you're, you're... The word you're looking for is pure blood. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. Shepard, this is Liara. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure-blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for- Hey, we're friends! I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure-blood? I did some stupid things to get away from looks. the cons. Mine is so gangly and asymmetrical.
Shepard. It's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Wait a minute. Are you working for the Shadow Broker? No. Actually, I'm planning to kill him. We crossed paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. You've spent two years of your life hunting the Shadow Broker? Liara, that's insane. You don't know what he did. You couldn't. You were gone. And we all did what we had to do after that. Let's not argue. I don't have enough friends left to lose one. Did you need help finding anything? How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Let me go talk to these people. I'll get the name you need. This is a delicate operation, Shepard. If you shake down one agent, the others will go to ground, and my chance will be lost. Liara is right. We need to get enough evidence to strike. And we need it soon. I'm more than capable of handling the violence, Shepard. I need your help gathering the data. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I'll talk to you later, Liara. Looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course, I can help you with the consult and figure out what options work for you. Training employees. 
employees only to lose them to your competitors? Perhaps Indentutech can help. The weapons merchant said that we took care of the red sand dealers. I guess I really helped. This was a dangerous operation, Conrad. You could have been killed. I'd feel terrible if anything happened to you. I didn't know. I... I can't risk you being worried about my safety. I'll stop pretending to be something I'm not. But thanks for letting me help, at least for a little while. It's really good to have you back. I can taste hate in the air, but there's no fighting. It's like, like they don't want to. Is that right? Because it seems stupid. Rules and words to hide how they hide. Fighting is simple. Kill the guy aiming at you. Here, there's no way to tell. Stupid. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, Asari Matriarch and Bartender. Get you anything? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that a sorry wisdom got the destiny ascension blown to hell and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Thanks for setting up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Five of the suspects are male. The observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nick Saris. She got the information. Nick Saris gave me the information. Nick Saris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later.
I need minimal heat in Greece. And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Safe, too. I need a 100. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixeras had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nixeris was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Did you have any trouble with Nixeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. That anger can't be just from what you've told me. What else happened between you and the Shadow Broker? Did Cerberus ever tell you how they recovered your body? I gave it to them. I gave you to them, Shepard. Because they said they could rebuild you. And to do that, I had to take it from the Shadow Broker, who was going to sell your corpse to the Collectors. Why didn't you tell me about this before now? Because I screwed it up, Shepard. I barely escaped with my own life. And when I gave you to Cerberus, I told myself I was doing it for you. For a chance to bring you back. But I knew Cerberus would use you for their own business. And I let it happen. Because I couldn't let you go. I'm sorry. All this time, it wasn't your sources. You knowingly gave me to Cerberus. You did this to me. And if I hadn't, you would have been dead. It was them, or the Collectors. I made the best choice I could, I'm sorry. And now you know. And you know why I have to destroy the Shadow Broker. For you. And for me. Let me know if you need any more help. Thank you. I will. Now, is there anything else I can help you with? I'll talk to you later, Liara. Does living at a higher altitude make you more intelligent? Our report may surprise you. New data commissioned by the Architectural Union has noted a correlation between tested intelligence and height of habitat. The news comes as new homes ranging from studio apartments to spacious rooftop mansions enter into open... Listen, open. I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Nasana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. 